Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a good day. And anyway, in today's video, we're using the Kilo 141 in a Rebirth Island, or Warzone. So the Kilo 141 was actually meta in Warzone for quite a while now, actually quite a few months, I believe, just after the run meta, until the Cold War integration. And this is kind of unnoticed because of the Cold War integration, but when the Cold War was integrated into Warzone, they actually kind of secretly nerfed the Kilo 141 and also the uh, R90, which is also meta. But this video is about the Kilo. So, the Kilo, they actually, I believe they nerfed the damage range. And I believe now um, the Kilo is pretty bad. After I think it's like 50 ish meters, the TTK goes up so, so, so much. It's so slow. I think it's actually one of the worst ARs at long range. Um, so, yeah, you do not want to be using the Kilo at long range. But obviously, this is Rebirth Island, so it's you never really get into a long range fight. Um, so, because of this, the Kilo is great, in my opinion, for Rebirth Island. Now, we didn't do great in this gameplay, and that is why I'm going to be doing some live commentary over it. But I think at the end of the day, this video did kind of show how good yeah, the Kilo was. Because um, to be fair with you, yeah, it isn't that much of a bad AR. It just isn't really a long range weapon. So, in yeah, case you guys don't know, this gun has barely any recall. It was a meta because it's so good of a gun. Uh, then obviously it was nerfed. But yeah, as I've already said, it has pretty much no recall. It was great at long range until they nerfed it. So, let's get into the gameplay. I'll just talk a bit more about the Kilo. Um, but yeah, here. I just show, guys. I thought the street sweeper was going to be removed from ground loot. Huh? What's this? This doesn't seem like a gallop to me. This seems like a street sweeper. Why is that there? <laughs> um. But yeah, so in my opinion, the Kilo is still a good AR, and I think a lot of people could Sometimes use it if you're running into a game. But it will be outbeaten by the majority of ARs. It's still going for the Kilo. The alternative to the Kilo, in my eyes at least, is the M4A1. And the reason why I say this is because the M4A1 has barely, um, well, barely any recoil, quite a low, um, yeah, quite a low range of recoil, uh, just like the Kilo. So technically, oh, well, it's more of a fact. The, the M4 know, is better than the Kilo, so probably take the M4 over the Kilo, um, but, you know, take whatever you want. So here, um, we're grabbing our loadout, picked up this orc, I don't really like this orc because it's that horrible sight, um, but you know, why not take it? So as you see, you got the Kilo, I actually paired the Kilo with the Psycho this game, I was using the J-God recommended class for the Psycho. After the uh, patch notes, which obviously recently happened with the nerf, the Amax, um, the change to the bullfrog, the uh, obviously the nerf to the bullfrog, and to also the far and the buffs of the PPSH. In case you guys didn't know, uh, the patch notes may be in the description. Too good defense. So here, I, uh, I hear I see at least three guys. Let's shoot this guy. As you can see here, I'm literally just getting hit markers. Like with the Amax, so I'm making decently weak, but nope. Um, it's a good show here. I pretty look at that. I'm just getting a hit marker galore. Um, there I'd 100% knocked. Um, I'd 100 sorry, cracked him. But oh, the gas is moving in. This is why you held. See a guy here. Get a shot on him, but I'm not going to go finish. I have to jump because of the gas. My teammate Mystic is obviously on the right hand side, but he is uh, actually fine. So we get over here on the left hand side now. This is the guy I was beaming at earlier. I crack him and knock him. Uh, see, that's another example of as soon as you knock him. Like, as soon as you knock them, it's fine. Like, as soon as you crack the armor, it's an easy knock from there. Um, so, yeah, this guy beams me. I believe he has some power. Uh, actually, looking at it now, it's just... I think it's just phrases actually. I don't think it was anything. Uh, so, my team is right here, so I say to my teammate, Right, you know what? How about you just spray them? Now, I told him, basically, yeah, don't get any the knocks, front. just beam the hell out of them. So, what I mean by that, because I just said don't knock them, so how am I going to beam them? Yeah. What I mean by that is you basically, for you example, if he was in the army and he was getting shot at in the army, what you would do is you basically good, just spray good, kind good of bullets them. to get them to genius, push back you know? uh, or even hit one. Now, this is exactly what we're doing here. I'm just saying, hey, just 
is basically they, spray your weapon, weapon because like what happens like, is just, they may hit him, if does him, they're going to go push back, play up, perfect time for me to then push back, basically cover like cover bar. So I'm going to grab a load out, I was like, wait, hang on, why don't we need that, and get restuck, and get shot in the back by that team, I have like no place at this point, I only have one, so I decided to pop my um my nice, put my nice, box nice, out nice. from here the smallest place is essentially to go no. outside yeah. because if i go inside they're gonna obviously see me possibly through the window oh, and from here i get a brand new angle now mystic yeah. here actually knocks a player though i don't know I'm where don't like even ask for the some text well. throw because oh, yeah, so it was so absolutely trash um <laughs> So I just wait, I believe, until I get the no, syntax again, I believe, I'm not actually too sure what happens there. Oh yeah, here you go. So we get shot from the right hand side, and I believe if I know correctly, we, yeah, okay, we do. So what I do here is we actually move around the right hand side. Now, what we do is, the reason why I didn't push to the left hand side is because, technically speaking, the logical play is they're at, actually at bioweapons, right? That's really the most common sense obvious thing in the world, so we're going to be around decon or bioweapons. So therefore, we're going to push around the right because obviously the, the bio weapons and also decon are both on the, my left hand side so i push my right hand side i get a brand new angle on them now i see that body there so i actually thought then is it actually the person who shot us who i actually think it was i see that there's at least three guys on uav from the left my teammate just got shot from the right but he's pushed back um so i know there's multiple people over here now i know okay best play here is actually go down on the roof because I'm closer to them so the kilo will then perform oh, better now they have to move outside. I'm just holding this angle but none of them are unfortunately peaking so I really can't do anything try and put these two semtexes to destroy this vehicle could even get a hit or even maybe a knock I do get shot from the right I'm sorry that this That's gameplay for some reason is actually a bit choppy I'm not sure why um but yeah that just messed up I did get shot from there so yeah these guys push back here you hit this guy a few times I know there's gonna be another guy so here I crack this guy. See, we're inside, I believe, for like 42 meters or something. I'm not actually too sure. And so because of this, the kilo is actually pretty good. Um, but obviously, if you hit headshots, you're, you know, you're fine. So, hold this angle. Hope, hope, you know, we have to hope they peak. Which I do not believe. Yeah, okay, so they're not really peaking, but I push down still. I go and push, I got a plate. I also have uh, this. So, we're gonna have to just sit here for a quick. Now, my gameplay actually stopped recording, unfortunately, right there. Um, but I did make a push and did kill them. I do apologize. The gameplay stopped, so I had to just stop recording again. <laughs> uh, and so, because of that, that is why you didn't see me there. But, yeah, I do knock and I kill that guy. Uh, I know that's, you know, I get shot from my right, but I have a prison airstrike. So, the best way here is to obviously get it on them. I see he's pushing down. And I didn't even ping him, so I'm not sure how that got a life ping on him, but you know. So I push inside, see my teammates are already shooting at him. So I push my right, and I thought he knocked him from the right. He actually didn't. Um, he actually pushed inside, and that's how my teammate knocked him. Um, but yeah, here he is again, the street sweeper. Um, so we. So yeah, my teammate calls out there's actually a guy below us, so that's why I throw a stun. Get no hit. No like hurt. oh maybe he's out the range where so I get and check if he's above us which yeah, as you just saw there he is so pop out <laughs> and I knock him and also finish him and now I see that the zone is pushing over decon zone now as you guys may know if you go there's actually like kind of like an underground passage kind of uh, at the below of decon zone which is kind of realistic you know and so what we decide to do is as I, as I just said, we're going to take it because that's going to be inside zone. We don't have to peek anyone. So, yeah, it's a much better play. So, we get down here. I'm like, right, you know what? Don't push. Let's just stay down here because if someone pushes us, we uh kind of like on the offensive side kind of because we're just defending this part which means we're on the defensive but as soon as they push they have no cover meaning we can just attack or even just still play it defensively so here we literally just hold this door uh that is basically the best play just make sure what kills we got um so 
yeah, just sit here now. Hopefully, if he takes the last or not, he doesn't. Did I tell my teammate? Right, I'm gonna make a play now. Okay, I haven't done this yet. Thought I did that. So we push back here. I think we went to grab the ammo, but didn't do anything. Oh, they were! So they shut the door. Oh my, oh my. Okay, so I thought they were all the bollocks, but no, there was at least one guy below. So here is where my genius play comes in. Uh, comes in to action. What I decided to do is I'm gonna push out. That's what you'll see me doing in a I decided to push out all the way, and the reason why I do this is because then I'll see if anyone's there. So as you see here, I'm now pushing out, pushing around the right hand side. Now if anyone's here, I'll know. And now even if I die, I said you know, teammate mystic, see you back, dude. See you guy right here. So. I'm not going to shoot, I just want to know. I get shot from above though, unfortunately, so I did have to push back, which is really annoying. I stunned to make sure he wasn't not, uh, so he wouldn't, you know, push behind me, which he wasn't, so that's a great thing. So here we literally just have to sit here, wait for the next zone to come in, and then change what we're going to do from there. So here we pretty much just have to stay... Oh, uh, it's actually pushing behind us, so I, so I say, right, Mr. Yeah, you don't have a gas mask, stay there. I don't have a gas mask, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to push all the way and get in front of them, which is going to basically be the smartest play, and you'll probably see any good player actually make this play here. So we know I have no longer a gas mask, but that should be fine, because at the end of the day, you know, really not that far to go, um, so, yeah, we're fine. Try and get up these rocks, obviously I can't get up there, because, you know, I can't rock climb, apparently, says this SES soldier. So, knock this one guy. I knocked his teammate, unfortunately. I wasn't I didn't even know he even had a teammate in there, dude. Uh cracked the other guy, so they're all good. so I got one guy knocked and the other guy's all cracked, you know. Get this guy here, knock him, I couldn't get the first show. This another guy peaks, couldn't get a hit on him. So I'm like, right, you know what? This is color. Stun, semtex, semtex, you know. Get the knock again, this time side to push down. I'm getting shot from above me, so here I'm like, right, you know what? That's just one plate to stay down. Uh, and I actually kind of make a play here because I know, right, the gas is going to push my right hand side, right? So here, my team is getting shot at. I get one, and I also then get the two because the psychops are actually great. I thought that was it, that's why I shot his body because I thought that was it. But it wasn't, we have another guy. And obviously, I didn't know where this guy was, so I was like, wait, where is he then? Is he below us? No, he's not. Where is he? And actually, it turns out he's above us, which I wasn't expecting. I really don't know where this team went from. I'm sure this is this guy I knocked on the right hand side a minute ago. So I really don't know where that guy came from. But now it's all up to Mystic. He has no plates and just a stone up, which, by the way, is the best MG in the game currently. So he's literally just sitting there. He doesn't have, um, you know, anything useful. He sees his head. He misses the shot because currently he actually has to play on his controller because his uh, mouse is currently broken. So he's had to play on yes. controller here so uh, he picks his uh lc10 because he knows right this guy must have pushed somewhere push. here's footsteps he sees him shoots him a few times waits for him to peek because he has no plates and just like that he wins someone will enjoy this video